Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Call Me Chris. You can call me Chris. I'm wearing overalls because I'm over life. And when you're over life, you just put on overalls and it's great. But you know what helps me get through life? You know, you're just so a little beautiful little thing, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Today we are going to be looking at some of the most expensive homes in the world. Cause why not judge people and the expensive houses? Because I'm bitter and I'm lonely and I'm sad. So let's judge other people. Let's do it. Welcome to Crescent House, located Crescent at House. five- <gasps> I'm getting flashbacks to the Crescent Hotel. My oh, chest, feel my heart. Scared now. <laughs> what the f was that? Oh my and God. it's all on the market for 23 million 500,000. 23 million 500,000 dollars. I'm disgusted. That is insane. Inside the beautiful courtyard and in front of the pool okay. for First of all, this pool, I have 23 million 500,000 dollar home and the pool is built for toddlers. I mean, I guess you could fit a lot of people there. You can't even do a lap like you'd be doing a weird lap around the corner, probably hitting yourself, probably getting Concussed, probably drowning scandal. I already hate it. And we're fortunate today to have Wallace Cunningham, the oh, visionary Wallace. architectural designer. Wallace, I hope he's like German. Where are my detonators? Can you tell us a little the bit gate. about the gate and the design of this courtyard? It looks Absolutely. like a prison. So from the outside, you see this sweeping crescent stainless steel shape. In uh -huh. plan, you can see yeah. the ramps. It's a cool door. The ramps. And then the swimming pool it's itself fun. is a crescent moon shape. Why? I don't get it. It's impractical. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Wallace, okay? So another feature, Wally, that is so fascinating when I tour people through this house are the uh -huh. ramps. My feeling the was ramps. that the house was designed for an older couple, okay. so I wanted it barrier-free. Well, that looks fun. You know what else is fun? Two Dots. Two Dots is a puzzle game that is free to play on iOS and Android. Essentially, you solve challenging puzzles by connecting the dots and more. I play the game pretty much whenever, when I'm traveling or when I'm just chilling out at home, and I like that the game isn't timed, so I don't need to like rush to do things. It's actually kind of relaxing. Uh this game is so addicting. I could do this literally all day. I have done this all day. And I've actually partnered with Two Dots to hide on the scavenger hunt map items that represent me. A burger, because who doesn't love a burger? A paint panel, because I love to paint. A Rubik's Cube, because I wish I could do one. A plane, because I love to travel. And sunglasses, because I hate the sun. And the scavenger hunt is available at level 13, which doesn't take very long to get to. So you can play the scavenger hunt and find my five items hidden on the map. My items are hidden on different levels of the Artistic Avenue map. Try to find them all starting today, July 20th until August 15th at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So click the link in the description, find the items on the map, and let me know. Thank you again to Two Dots for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to it. Principal day rooms are Okay, above. this fire pit. I can't get over this fire pit, and not for a good reason. It looks like that is where the billionaire rich people burn the poor people. <laughs> People not as rich as them, they'll like invite all their billionaire friends and then they'll invite like me and I'll be like, oh, I made it, I got the invitation and then I go to the party and then they're like, actually, you're gonna jump in this pit. But like Loki, that'd be kind of a good way to go. I feel like that could be a movie. And then the scandal is all the tablets are like, where's Call Me Chris, where's Call Me Chris? And they're like, oh, she joined a hippie commune in the middle of Utah and she's, she doesn't do social media anymore. I feel like I could do that. I feel like I look like that right now. I do look like I could join a hippie commune. I feel like my name would be like Willow or like Moonstar. Main living area, okay. We're upstairs at the top level here. Oh my, which it just, you call the there's so much area. furniture. You building it, you were. There is not enough room for activities. So many activities. Tell us more about your thoughts for this space. Absolutely, yeah, I we're standing on a bridge above the breezeway with a the bridge. largest panorama okay. of the ocean. So you can look up and- Texture on the windows, it kind of ruins the view. Also look at all these angles in here. It's giving me PTSD from like math class and trigonometry. 180 degree view. Mm -hmm. And you can also overlook the city beyond. Oh, perfect. This house, no. $23,500,000 and I can't walk around my house naked. There's not even like curtains. You got like Jimmy from 85 streets over with his binoculars looking and then taking photos of me. I can't, if I, I purchase a home with knowing that I can walk around it naked. That's important to me. That's the, don't come to my house. The Look architecture this table. of the space. So this table has an unusual. Even. Oh, my math teacher would be so mad at me. It's a, it's a square, but it's quadrilateral. Is that right? It's like quadrilateral. This 
this is a quadrilateral. Hopefully that looks like the table, I have no idea. Also, uh, this whole place is so not kid friendly. Like you're cracking your head open every turn you go. If I was a kid in this house, I would be dead immediately. We have more deaths. This house has killed three people now, if I count correctly. <laughs> Glass panel slides. It camouflages the kitchen. What? Beautiful bar. And the, with the mirror no. here, then you get the effect of the panoramic ocean. Stop. The mirror, fine. You have a wall that moves and then it covers the kitchen, which probably costs like eight million of that $23 million. Or you can cover the bar, which probably costs two million. Why put the door in? There's no point. Just keep it open. That's the stupidest design I've ever seen. And that glass door is ugly. I'm just a bitter person, but it's true. Tell me in the comments below that I'm right. Kitchen. I love a kitchen. Let's look. Um, I like a gas What stove. was your inspiration with these levels and with angling the kitchen? <sighs> Confusion. The levels are basically all people aren't the same height, size, reach. I like a and so guess I wanted that makes to have sense. a cascade. He's like, this one represents me, the tallest one, and this one represents all the poor people. And that's where the sink is. And that's where the dirty dishes go because they're trapped. Sorry. These are all jokes, okay? If you can't handle jokes, leave. And this is actually These position cupboards. alpha, this V. So they're seating. Look at how impractical that is. Like only like a Victoria's Secret model could shimmy your way into that corner. Like I don't understand. Everything is so sharp and impractical. Like I want everything open and free and probably round so I don't get a concussion to crack my head open. Ooh, this bedroom is kind of cool though. It's really big though, you know? We're I heading into the, the primary. It was sorry, the primary bedroom, not the master. Thing about this room to me, Wally, is the way you curve the wall and that there's no door. There's no door? What if I'm having, you know, you know, that kind of time by myself because I'm abstinent. I can't close a door. Little Timmy can run in and be scarred for the rest of his life. And then I got to pay for his therapy. Like I have $23 million, but I don't want to be paying for like a child's therapy, okay? <laughs> I wanted them to wake up to the most commanding and beautiful view possible. Like, it's pretty, I guess, it's just ocean. If there was like a sunset, maybe it'd just be like, oh, wow, but like, I don't know. In okay, the look at all their shoes. Suite, there are dual primary closets. I could never so fill that So that tends closet. to be uncommon, uh, this close to the ocean. It's uncommon to have a closet near the ocean? My look at this table, what the f are you putting at the point of this table? You're like, okay, towels, uh, sheets, and shirt, and earrings. Right on the corner. Oh, no, I can only put one. I, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. $23 million out the window in the trash. Burn it. Primary buff, okay. Dual sinks, the okay. tub. But the Wally, is when that you a talk tub? About a weird that. tub. Oh, okay. East, that is the, the smallest mirror I've ever You're seen. Again, this is the crazy. Is the tub. Part of the actual architecture, so, so it's you can so hold tiny. Like, look at him beside it. Easy look steps. it. Lay down this. It's you can't. Uh, uh, Wallace, show me you can lay down in that tub. I bet he cannot. Twenty-three million dollars again. Down the. Tub. Whoa, the look at these stairs. It's kind of cool. It kind of looks like a spine. So dangerous though. It looks like razors that'll shred my legs up when I fall off of them. Not house. if, when. All right, that's enough of the $23 million house. We're gonna look at a $165 million house. Will it be better? We shall see. This is on the market for $165 million. $165 million. Crazy. Entry hall. Oh my God. Look at this entry hall. It's too much. Rich people, they have to have so many friends. Like there's so much space. I don't care how much money I make. I would always need to have a small home because I need to fill it with my two friends and make it look like it's a party when it's not. It's not because I don't have that. Maybe they pay for their friends. I think that's what they do. There's no way. Rich people are always assholes for the most part. This is the foyer of the manor. The foyer. 30 feet high. 30 it has a double feet. staircase. You can bungee jump off this thing. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I would do. That's a very like Jake Paul, Logan Paul thing to do. Like today we're bungee jumping off of our foyer staircase. Oh my God. But you know what? If I had this, I would expect there to be minimum 50 people at the bottom of these stairs at all times to applaud me as I walk down it in my oversized Led Zeppelin ripped up t-shirt, no panties and just matted hair from waking up. And I would walk down it at like 0 0.00 miles per hour like this. <laughs> and all the people would be like, yes, queen, yes. It raises and lowers it. Raises and the staircase and lowers it. railing 
is one like continuous piece somebody. in the city. It is a nice it is rail, I will say that. Far, and it is a sight to behold. Hey, see, at least they thought about like little kidlets can't really fit through there. Like maybe like an infant could like fit through there, but like toddlers, it's pretty toddler proof, but they could fall down the stairs. It'd be a long fall. Imagine just. The manor was built on the former wow. estate of Bing Crosby. Ooh, Bing Crosby, not Bill Crosby. Bing Crosby, one of my favorite actors. He's from one of my favorite movies, White Christmas. Watch it if you haven't watched it. It's a wonderful voice. Build their dream Ooh, vision. Ooh, that's a nice couch. Home. The manor was built to host large events. Yeah, no shit. Here's the front door, goes through this great entry hall to the yeah. formal living room. Whoa, look at these couches! Five sets of French doors, all open to the incredible ground. Five sets of French doors! That's probably like their biggest decision of the day. They're just like, which door do I walk through? One, two, three, four, or five. <gasps> so many decisions. Incredible detail of the manor is that on the first floor, they're all French doors that open to the ground. There's like 85 doors here. That's insane. Can you imagine like somebody could break into this house so easily? They're just like, all right, John, check door number one. I'm going to start with door number 87. One of these bitches got to be open. For He's like, all right, Todd, for sure. For I get through it. They're like, listen. Uh, I'm on, I'm on door, uh, I think 18. Why don't we just throw a rock through the window? I, I, I don't know why we're wasting our time. And the other guy's like, yeah, you're right. You're well, $165 million and they did not put in a security system. <laughs> morons. And look at these couches they're like they're so far spread apart like you have one person on one side and one person on the other side <laughs> like this one person's over here like yeah so i was just i was talking to them and, and then the other person on the other side what, what are you guys talking about oh we're just talking about uh how nice the living room is what how nice the living room is this is a nice living room hey that's what i just said the library wish i had a library i don't read books who am i kidding oh there's a little aquarium this is the in the library, library. Of the manor. Okay. It's incredible <laughs> scale and intimate space. Intimate, Roger, I don't know his name. This is the furthest thing from intimate. This is bigger than my entire first floor. Like genuinely, it is. It's huge. But okay, Roger. It was built as Aaron Spelling's office. Quick fact check, Aaron Spelling, father of Tory Spelling, made a bunch of TV shows like this. I don't know. It looks like the president lives here. One of the most special here. features of this room. Oh, see, I look at those shelves and all I think about is how much dusting you have to do. You gotta get one of those extra, extra extendable Swiffers, like, oh, right up there. And a ladder, and then knowing me, I'd fall off the ladder. Again, I'm dead. <laughs> all these rich houses, I die. Okay, the dining room. Everything's very, like... We are now in the formal dining room of the manor. I like it. This room is capable of hosting 30 guests. 30 guests, Roger. Roger, I don't know 30 people, let alone two people that would come to my house for a dinner. I can't f***ing cook. I guess if I have $165 million, I could probably afford a private chef. I'd be such a lonely, lonely rich person. Just be sitting at the head of that table alone. Just like, can you pass the salt? Just nobody's there at the end of the table. Gotta get up. Could you pass the salt? That's how I get my steps in for the day. <laughs> Grabbing the salt and <laughs> coming back. Interesting detail of the formal dining room is an oval cove oh. ceiling. It adds great depth and character. Oh, to this it's like an it was like an optical illusion. The That's kitchen fun. Ooh, kitchen yay. Okay. And room Pizza oven. Room I would never use it. Three ovens. Primary suite. Not the master suite, the primary suite. Welcome cool. to the primary suite of the manor. Cool. This Thank is a you, home Roger. inside a home. It features a sitting room. The manor is one of the largest estates in Los Angeles. The owners designed a private intimate space where they could have breakfast, relax. This is in the primary suite? This is in their master bedroom? They're having some kinky parties in here. I know they are. Please, come forward. Look at those couches. They're made for multiple people. I know exactly what you're doing in there. You're putting an inflatable play place in there and having a lit party, maybe with clowns. No balloons though. Balloons. Come to one of the largest closets in all of Los Angeles. Closet? Two story space. Eh, there's stairs this in the closet? A store. It's designed Holy to shit. Okay, I know only I would notice this because I used to be a house cleaner, proudly. I appreciate these cleaners. Look at that carpet, that perfect lining of the vacuum. That's like art on the floor. That is gorgeous. Let's give a round of applause to the cleaners. Round of applause. Wow, It is look an at octagonal that bath. space. It's wow. bathing light. There's an incredible floor. A it's a pretty bath. I will give and it a shower that. that is in both That's a model. shower. Uh, Two different heads. In this bathroom. See, these are mirrors. You want to see yourself from every angle. Maybe not me, but if you love yourself, you want to see yourself from every angle. <laughs> I like this bathroom more than the other one. There's a wellness, wellness center. center at the manor. It's a complex of 
<laughs> items for I mean, there health, better be a wellness, wellness center for 160 beauty, million dollars. <gasps> you can get your massage room, hair done, massage right. room, pedicure, manicure. Salon. Wow, you don't even need to leave your house. This is my kind of house. A house where you don't need to leave your house. You still need to talk to people that do it. But you, maybe you could pay them to just not talk. Wow, money really does solve everything. <laughs> they love bowling alley. Whoa! Oh, I love bowling. I'm not that good at it, but I try. Wow. This is two lane bowling alley. Honestly, when this I was originally that. built, it was one of the few cool. houses in all of Los Angeles that had a bowling alley. Aaron Spelling liked wow. to bowl. And this was his forever estate, and this was an important That's feature. That's crazy. And I like it because they put into account that I only have two friends, two lanes. Smart. The theater. That is We're huge. Now in the room at the That's manor. like a regular it movie seats theater. seats 20 comfortably. Has a 60 foot screen that drops into the floor. What? And has a projection Look at all those room couches. behind. It is a legendary space. Damn, that is like a theater. A it is. That's insane. Again, too many chairs, but amazing. Pool the, the pool. Manor. It okay, is the built pool. with 170,000 glass tiles. See, that's a normal tiles. size pool. That's a pool I can swim in and play mermaids and pretend I'm dead because who doesn't do that in the pool? I did as a kid. Didn't anybody else pretend that they were like drowning in the pool just to see like if anybody cared about them? And then nobody did. And you almost actually drowned in the pool trying to trying to prove that somebody cared. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that wasn't a real story. <laughs> okay, those houses were f***ing insane. <laughs> um, just too big, too angular, too, too much to dust. God damn it, a lot, but fun to look at, you know? If you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. This is obviously business YouTube channel ever. And please give me suggestions of other videos you want me to do in the comments below. And I will see your beautiful face in the next video, okay? Bye.